Cougar fans, it's time to play BYU basketball. Nell dribbles into a three, top of the team, and he knocks it down. Play-by-play -play coverage of BYU basketball is brought to you by All Pro Capital Real Estate Investments, by Big O Tires. Stop by your locally owned and operated Big O Tires, the team you trust. Brought to you by Ken Garth, we hear you, and by Smith's Food and Drug, proud partner of BYU Athletics. This is BYU Basketball. Khalifa open for three. That's yes! good! Ali for three! On the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Tonight's starting lineups are brought to you by Mountain America, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. Oklahoma State starts one through five. Javon Small, number 12. John Michael Wright, number 51. Jamiron Keller, number 14. Keon Williams, number five, and Brandon Garris in the big man at number 23. BYU introduces, Mark Durant introduces your BYU Cougars. Backcourt for the Cougars, number 30, Down Hall, number 20, Spencer Johnson, the senior on senior night. At the three, number 21, Trevin Nell. At the four, number zero, Noah Waterman. At the five spot, the big fellow, the man in the middle, number 50, Ali Khalifa. The starting five for the 21, one and nine, Cougars, nine and eight in conference, 15 and two here in the Merritt Center. Officials for tonight's game, Darren George, Bobby Bassant, and Kelly Self. And Kelly Self has the ball ready for play. We'll toss up the opening tap. Garrison and Waterman to contest that tap as we get underway. BYU in the home whites with Royal and Oklahoma State in the road blacks with white and orange. The Garrison and Keller, the freshmen for OSU, were terrific in Stillwater. They're a handful, especially Garrison, big shot blocker. Career highs for both guys. Garrison had 21. Keller had 22. And the Cowboys win the opening tap. They'll take it back to front, left to right, as we see it and you hear it. Oklahoma State operates in the forecourt. Straight away, Javon Small had 14 with four rebounds, six assists against BYU in Stillwater. Shoves away Dallin Hall, starts on him again, kicks on the wing. A drive from Keller. Keller will hang it blocked by Khalifa. That's seven blocks in his last six games for Ali Khalifa. Dallin Hall on the wing right side. Khalifa on the arc right, guarded by Garrison. A handoff there to Spencer Johnson. Johnson, one of the seniors being honored in pregame, dribbles it away, gives it away. A steal by Oklahoma State. Cowboys in full court. Well, he did a good job taking care of the ball in Stillwater. That was one of the bright spots. Turnover already. Garrison, wing right, up top to Javon Small. Small to the right elbow. Played a pocket pass to Garrison he couldn't handle, and BYU takes a steal the other way. That's an early Palmer's Metal Mart steal of the game in a scoreless game. It is brought to you by Palmer's Metal Mart, everyone's metal store for over 30 years, a proud sponsor of BYU basketball. Khalifa for three, back iron. Offensive rebound, Spencer Johnson. He's BYU's team leader in offensive rebounds this season. A back down, a skip pass, a left corner three by Waterman. No, that's off the back rim, too. Out of bounds, and Spencer, or rather, Dallin Hall was held back trying to go for the rebound. No foul, as Dallin had position for the rebound and he was actually kind of arm barred away from getting to the ball. Either way, BYU opens 0 for 2 from 3 and we're still scoreless. 1 minute and 16 seconds in. Dallin got pinballed otherwise he could have gotten to that ball on the rebound but yet another tough start from the 3 point I, I don't remember. The, I don't remember the last game BYU made its first 3. On the wing left side Williams. BYU takes almost more threes than any other team in the country. John Michael Wright on the wing left will drive Trevin Nell. A little scoop. Wildly missed at the rim. Khalifa on the rebound. Khalifa is showing that he can be a rim protector already. Almost two minutes in. Looking for the first points of the game. Will they come from Trevin Nell? He'll step on the end line. Take a bump on the baseline. He got fouled. So it'll be Javon Small. Picking up foul number one for OSU. We're still scoreless. 18-13 to play. Until halftime, BYU basketball brought to you by Delta. Delta, the official airline of the BYU men's basketball team. Uh, official not really helping BYU as Waterman hit an open three off the pass, but they call the whistle. Off the inbound, Trevin Nell misses a baseline jumper. BYU has missed all of its shots, all three so far. BYU 0 for 3, Oklahoma State 0 for 2. Top of the key, 3 for Small, and it's good. A shocker. Shocker that that first three would go for the opponent and BYU would struggle. I hate to be negative, but that's been the script so many times this year. 3 nothing. Oklahoma State. Small. With a big shot early. Khalifa Foul. travels on the arc. Yep. So BYU turns it over for the second time. So BYU tur turn over, two turnovers and 0 for 3. And this is a uh, somewhat typical senior night start. A lot of senior nights yeah. begin this way for the home team. 
That's yeah, strange, though. Not a lot of pressure. Just some casual play has led to some turnovers for BYU. A one for one is one thing. Let's see if they can open up three, four, or five for five from three because that's what a lot of teams have been doing lately against BYU. And All right, three nothing Cowboys. We're two and a half minutes in, and BYU's looking for its first points tonight. And notwithstanding what they did to BYU at Stillwater, this is the team that has struggled from the three. Guys like Keller have struggled, and he was just on fire against BYU. Yeah, Keller was four for four from three against BYU, three for 17 since. <laughs> Michael Wright, John Michael Wright, a pocket pass at the free throw line to Garrison, out to Small. Small will drive it down the lane, stop at 10 feet, and force it out on the wing left to Keon Williams. A skip pass right corner, touch pass to Wright, three-pointer, good again. Two for two for three is Oklahoma State, 6 nothing Cowboys. 51. Wow. This really is something. How the opposing teams and the home team shoot from three to begin games. Khalifa open for three, won't take it. Take it around the arc right. Looks back door. Nothing there down the lane. On the wing right to Spencer Johnson. Johnson drives base and nearly turned it over and did. Stepped on the baseline with it. BYU's turned it over three times and has gone 0 for 3 from the field to start. Scoreless in 3 minutes and 10 seconds. And Mark Pope is not going to let let this thing ride, but uh, you could see an early timeout here. This is not not the ideal start here. 6-0 Cowboys. They, of course, made their points on threes. Two of them. Two for two from deep. Javon Small traverses the free throw lane, lobs it up. It's picked off on the baseline pass. Intended for Williams, another turnover for OSU. They've got two. Teams have combined for four, uh, five turnovers and six missed shots. Another missed three for BYU Waterman. BYU 0 for 3 from deep. Keon Williams drives it from the left wing and will travel with it. Did he travel? He did. So turnover number three for the Cowboys. Turnovers are even at three apiece. So we've seen six turnovers and six of eight field goal attempts missed between the two teams here in the first four minutes. I want to get Poos some early minutes here. He had a lot of success against OSU, and you're not hitting threes. Maybe get in the paint a little bit. Who will take the lid off for BYU? Is it Ali for three? Yes, it is! Ali! Khalifa and the Cougs knock down their first three. Their first Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer. It's another $50 donated to the American Red Cross courtesy of Mountain America Credit Union. Ali for three and 6-3 Cowboys. There we go. Just took one, I hope. Keller for three. That's strong. A miss and a rebound for BYU. Dallin Hall down floor. Trevin Nell left wing. Spencer Johnson drives the base, takes a hit from right, passes in the corner for the tie. Noah! Now he's long on the three. A slap out rebound by Nell to Noah again. Yes! Back to back threes and timeout to Oklahoma State. So BYU let it ride, and then the Cougars get rolling, and Coach Boynton calls the timeout, which will take with 15-15 to play until halftime. So the Cougars have settled in. They've made their last, well, two of their last three from three and have tied the game at six. Six all, Cougs and Cowboys on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU Basketball brought to you by Smith's. Hey, Cougar fans, did you know that when you order groceries through the Smith's app, you get the same great prices, deals, and rewards on pickup and delivery as you do in store? So, however you get ready for game day, you can always save big at Smith's. Well, Cougs just had to keep knocking on the door from three, and they did, and they opened it and walked through it with a couple of triples. BYU was 0 for 3 from deep and have since gone 2 for 3 from the arc and have tied the game at 6 after OSU went 2 for 2 from 3 to open this game. So 6-6 is our score. With four minutes and 45 seconds gone. And that last three from BYU. Noah Waterman knocked it down. He's already taken four. That was his first make on another Mountain America Credit Union three. That last three from Noah prompted Mike Boynton to call an early timeout. And so we're tied at 6-6, almost five minutes in. One of the things we don't talk a lot about is BYU's wing rebounding. It's terrific. Spencer Johnson had 11 at Iowa State. He's He's a terrific rebounder. And then just on that last play, as Noah missed, Trevin Nell comes flying in. Doesn't rebound it, but he just he knew that Noah was in the corner. He tipped it to him as as good as, as an assist and rebound. 
terrific play and uh, got BYU back at, at level with OSU here early. And I made the note during the play-by-play call a little bit ago, but uh, some people might be surprised uh, when they think that uh, Spencer Johnson is the leading offensive rebounder on this BYU team. He's a sneaky good jumper and has long arms and just a knack for it, and he goes after it too. And so a really nice job you have him and, of course, Noah on the wings. Really good rebounding for this team. Spencer, five points, three rebounds, and an assist in the Stillwater game. BYU lost that one 93 to 83. Here we go. We're back in and Oklahoma State basketball left to right as we see it. And you hear it. Javon Small, the point guard, runs the show, gives Keon Williams on the wing right side. Keon into the paint, takes a hop into the alley and terminates. And it's now cycled out straight away to John Michael Wright. To Garrison at the free throw line. Nice. Back door to John Michael Wright on the give and go. And he converts. He's got five. And the Cowboys back in front, set, uh, eight to six. Well, you get so used to seeing BYU do that, but uh, that, that was a great backdoor cut. A little bounce pass from, from the big man. Down Hall hippity hops it left. High to Khalifa. Terminates on the arc. Looks to Johnson in the corner. Will take a long two and miss it. Weird shot for Khalifa. It was not a three, and it was long enough to be a three. Transition three missed by the Cowboys. Keon Williams on the misfire. Down Hall on the rebound. Transition opportunity in the corner from Johnson to Waterman. Waterman then... On the sideline, nearly lost. It finds Khalifa up top. BYU's yet to sub in this game. Khalifa holds it out for Nell. Nell raised and then drives. Stops the free throw line out to Khalifa. The open three, and that's wide left. And the rebound falls to Jamiron Keller. 8-6 Cowboys. BYU's not led in this game, and Nell fouls Keller on the drive. And it'll be foul number one for BYU. Here come the subs. Robinson, Saunders, and Traore. The super sub trio checks in for BYU. Garrison out for Daly. Hicklin will enter four. Hicklin will enter four. John Michael Wright. So three in for BYU, two in for the Cowboys. 14.05 to play till halftime. Cowboys lead it by a score of eight to six. BYU's not led. BYU shooting two for nine. And the Cowboys three for seven. Daly on the wing right. Garrison. Garrison up to the cutter. Hickland, high to Garrison. The handoff to Small. Small at the free throw line will dive it, hang back, and get blocked out of bounds. It'll be stay Oklahoma State basketball with a 14-second shot clock. Now Small just tries to get in front of his man and use his body to shield and, and draw Foose to the defense. But nice job by Foose to not leave his man open but contest the shot. Small triggers all the way into backcourt. Collecting it there is Jarius Hicklin. Hicklin is checked in. Garrison on the post feed. Career game against BYU. Passes over the head of Foos in the left corner. Three is missed on the back iron. Rebound to Traore. A miss there by Small. And Dallin Hall races at front court. Down the barrel. Drop off to Saunders on the wing right side. Richie up high. 13.30 to play till the break. Hall cycles corner. Nell three strong. No. And the rebound collected by the Cowboys. BYU still down eight to six. BYU two for eight from deep. Opened over for three. Since two for five. Hicklin wing right. And Trevin Nell looking to get into a rhythm here. Really struggled uh, for the three-point shot since hurting his foot at UCF. BYU had the steal, gave it right back, and then gets it back. Got Jackson. Nell down floor. Robinson, Robinson at the rim. Up and in! Nice pass from Trevin Nell. Jackson Robinson leaked down floor off the steal, and the Cougars tied the game at eight. A nice job sticking with it. Looked like Foose had a steal. He lost it, but Trevin steps in, gets the steal, and down the other way. Javon Small. Stutter step from the arc left side. Picks up his dribble. Finds help in Hicklin. Hicklin accelerates on Nell. Double dribble there. Oh, they missed that call. Dribble. That's got to be called, and they missed it. Daly on the wing right. Jumps a long two and misses it back. Iron rebound Jackson Robinson. BYU wow. plays for its first lead of the game. Jackson Robinson drives past Hicklin. Up and in at the rim. Jackson Robinson driving score. And there it is. The Cougs' first lead at 10-8. to It is a 10-4 to BYU run. Jackson, Jackson's been so much better lately at being aggressive and getting to the rim. Nice play there in transition. Making a 10-2 to BYU run. Garrison to answer, and he does. An 18-footer straight away. Garrison knocks down the long deuce and ties the game at 10. I, mean, I really like Garrison. He's a terrific freshman. Garrison's first two. Trevin Nell left wing. Under 12-minute media timeout coming on the whistle. Short roll to Foos. Foos right beneath the bucket. Blocked at the rim by Garrison. And here come the Cowboys the other way. Keller down the barrel. Keller into Hall. Scoop at the window. Misses it long. And the rebound, Robinson. Robinson down floor to Richie. Richie collects on the baseline. Back to Foos. Knocked out of bounds by the Cowboys. BYU basketball after this. 10-10 ball game. 
11.39 to play till halftime. Cougars and Cowboys all square. Ben Bagley coming up with a scoreboard update next here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU. Utah is a special place. Our communities, the people, the history. There is no place quite like Utah. At Siegfried and Jensen, we're honored to say that we are from Utah. We live here, work here, and when someone is injured, we're proud to say we've helped a neighbor when they've needed it most. We know Utah. At Siegfried and Jensen, we're here for you. BYU basketball in the Big 12 plays here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. All right, uh, back at the Marriott Center. 11.39 to play until halftime. 10-10 is our score. BYU and Oklahoma State. Cougars off to a 4 of 13, 31% shooting start. But Oklahoma State, not a whole lot better. 4 for 12 at 33%. Both teams have uh, some turnover issues to deal with. Cowboys have given it up four times to BYU's three. The rebounds early to BYU by a narrow 9-8 to eight margin. BYU basketball presented in part by Sierra West. Diamonds direct, lowest prices in three stores located across from the malls in Orem, Sandy, and Murray. Sierra West Jewelers. We price match. Well, another... Wild day in the Big 12. Final day of play in the Big 12. Iowa State, after coming back to beat BYU on Wednesday, laid an egg in Manhattan today, losing 65-58. to West Virginia went on the road to Cincinnati and got drilled by 36. That'll be a rematch on Tuesday between those two teams in the first round of the Big 12 tournament. Oklahoma losing in Austin in their final game. Regular season game is Big 12 teams. UT wins at 94-80. to Kansas lost by 30 at Houston. 76 to 46. UCF with an upset at TCU, 79 to 77. And Texas Tech defeated Baylor, 78 68. Those are the games that have all gone final before ours. And this is the last game of 126 in the Big 12 regular season. BYU and OSU back in. Dallin Hall drives across the free throw lane. Will drop a short pass to Foose, but eat the bucket. Little jump, but good. And the Cougs are back in front. Right hand over left shoulder for Foose and Traore. And the Cougs take a 12 10 lead. Second lead of the night for BYU. Garrison out, so smart move to go inside to Foos. Outside the right elbow, it's Daly. Skip pass left wing three for the lead. Missed there by John Michael White. Richie Saunders rebounded and threw it away down the floor. Too far for Foos. Turnover number four for BYU. That yeah, was actually the right play, but I don't think Foos thought that Richie would throw it and was not quite ready for it, but Foos was ahead of everyone. BYU has one more made shot than turnover at this point. 12-10. Cougars lead the Cowboys nine minutes in. John Michael right, left wing. Dribble handoff there to Jamiron Keller. High he goes to Mike Marsh, who's checked in. Marsh played just two minutes against BYU in Stillwater. Keller left wing. Michael right, John Michael right up top. On the wing right daily. Hands off Hicklin. Hicklin. Guarded by Stewart. Shoots a three over him and misses it long and then... Jackson Robinson deflected it out of bounds. It'll stay Oklahoma State basketball. Extended possession. That was missed so badly. Just barely glanced the rim. So that's often an advantage for the offensive team. And BYU just didn't have their hands up ready to to get the deflection. OSU on a four-game losing streak coming in. BYU on a five-game home win streak entering tonight's game. Still 12-10 Cougars. The Cougars' large lead has been this two points. Cowboys opened up 6-0 for a game-high six-point cushion. Javon Small, point guard between the circles for the Cowboys. Right hand rule, right side. Now back to his left and down the left side of the lane. Stops at five feet. Out to John Michael. Right elbow jumper and missed it. Long left. Rebound Richie Saunders. Tie taken away by Mike Marsh. Reset for three. Missed long. Rebound Foos and the Cougars clear the glass. He's had a little trouble with 50-50 balls the last couple of games. Richie should have had that one. Robinson left side. Robinson to the top at the free throw lane. Hesitation. Bank and score. Oh, oh that's, a, that's a very clever tight move from Jackson Robinson. Little change of speeds. Defender yeah. on his hip. And then leads back and scores off the window plus the foul. A chance for a three-point play as BYU takes a game-high four-point lead, 14-10. to 10. That's part of Jackson's game that's really blossoming here. And we talk about playing at the next level. He can't just be a three-point shooter and that, that's the kind of play that you, if you can make, you can play at the next level. Jackson Robinson leading all scores with six. Give him seven. And Jackson Robinson's free throw number continues to climb. He's at around 90% on the year. He's now 50 for 56 at the free throw line. Six misses on the year. 
10.05 to play till halftime. BYU on a little run, leading it 15 to 10. Penetration move from Keon Williams right to the rim, up and in to answer. Williams has his first two, and it's a three-point game, 15 to 12. Trey Stewart is in the game for Dallin Hall and starts it down the floor. Foose almost picked at the top. Nice handle by Foose there to keep it in possession. The handoff, Spencer Johnson. Defender on his backside, gets the 10 feet, one foot, Nowitzki. No, off, and the re- defensive rebound collected there by Daly. BYU 15, Oklahoma State 12. Daly goes downhill, and he gives it up. Another turnover. Down floor, Trey Stewart. Trey Stewart in the corner to Jackson Robinson. He'll take the baseline drive. Still on the dribble. Trailer, Spencer Johnson. Hesitation, penetrate, and out to Trey Stewart, top of the key. 20-second shot clock. 9.20 on the game clock. Foose on a back down. Shoving away Mike Marsh and gives it up. Turns it over. Turnover number five for BYU. 15-12 Cougars. Not able to put much of a cushion between itself and Oklahoma State early. 9.09 to play in this one. John Michael Wright, high to Javon Small. Noel Wadham will check back in for BYU. Five turnovers, six made shots for BYU in the first 11 minutes. Small into a three for the tie and missed it left. Rebound Spencer Johnson. Second board for Spence. He's scoreless yet in the game. Trey Stewart rocks a slow dribble right side. Up top to Jackson Robinson. Turns and fires and misses the three. And the rebound tapped by the Cowboys and collected. BYU two for nine from deep. 0 for 3, then 2 for 3, then 0 for 3 on their threes here in the first half. 15-12 Cougars. Mike Marsh traveled up top. They missed it. Hands off to Javon Small. Offensive foul on the Cowboys. 8.25 to play. Moving screen up top. And 15-12. BYU keeps its three-point lead and gets the ball back on turnover number 6 for Oklahoma State. Well, this has been a really nice defensive effort from BYU. Only 12 points with eight and a half to go here. And, B- and o- OSU scored 93 points against BYU in Stillwater. So a much better defensive start for BYU. And now the Cowboys have one more turnover than field goals made. Yet one possession game. Trey Stewart starts at left to Khalifa, straddling the three-point line on the left. Holds it out for Jackson Robinson. And behind the back on John Michael right now. Spins on him, gets to the rim, and, and through the foul. Ten. Yep. Yes. They call the goal 10, and he scores it. And I believe the foul was called too, right? So a second three-point play chance for Jackson Robinson. As Jackson on the foul by John Michael Wright starts to take over a little bit. That's nine points for Jackson Robinson. He could be in double figures by halftime. Jackson, in the first game against OSU, had 14 points. And he's already fixing to get to 10 with still 8-11 to play in the first half. As BYU takes its game-high lead of five at 17-12. to 12. That's a big mistake from Garrison because I think that shot was short. Now Jackson would have got free throws, but now a chance for a three-point play because Garrison took that well off the backboard. Four fouls for the Cowboys as well to BYU's one. Jackson for the free throw. Yes, again. So Jackson is now, for the year, 51 for 57 at the free throw line. Outstanding. And a tip out by the Cougars. 8.06 to play till halftime. Cougs have pushed it now to an 18-12 lead. So it is an 18-6 run since OSU opened up 6-0. Yeah, they're starting to, the, the missed threes really help. I mean, yes. when, when a team makes threes, it's hard. And when they don't, it's uh, better. Both teams are 2-9 for nine from the three-point line. John Michael Wright. Has Robinson up top. Robinson goes over the screen. The step back by right and misses the three long. And the rebound tapped up in the air. Collected by Richie Saunders. Richie on the run. Richie, right side. Richie, trailer, Khalifa. Khalifa. Let's Robinson pass by. As Robinson cuts low, the pass goes. Richie, corner, pull, fire, missed the three. Rebound missed by Waterman. Had it right in his hands. Missed the offensive rebound. 7.40 to go till halftime. 18-12, to 12, Cougs. Garrison up high. He's back in the game. Left wing, John Michael Wright. Hesitation dribble, mid-side of the lane. Reverse lay-in, beautifully done. Conversion there by Eric Daly off the assist from John Michael Wright. And 18-14, BYU's lead down to four. You feel like BYU's missing a chance to kind of blow this game open a little bit, and that could come back and haunt them. Beautiful backdoor. Waterman gets hammered. Two guys <laughs> land on him as he goes up the... Oh, man. Khalifa throws the back door to Noah, and Noah waits, pump fakes, and then two guys land on his head. And he'll be going to the free throw line a little groggily after this. 7-14 to play till halftime. It's 18-14. BYU leads Oklahoma State. Waterman's going to shoot two after this on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here is Ben Bagley with a scoreboard update. 
All of the games in the Big 12 gone final. We'll give you a full scoreboard coming up at the half. One score and news note to be aware of. Greg mentioned number one Houston beaten Kansas by 30, 76 to 46. Kansas' Hunter Dickinson had 11 points in that game, but it left with 11 minutes left in the game with a dislocated right shoulder. Something for Big 12 fans to watch as we head into the conference tournament next week. Now back to the Marriott Center with Greg and Mark. Thank you, Ben. Thanks a lot, Ben. It is BYU leading Oklahoma State 18-14. to BYU will play in the 11.30 a.m. game next Wednesday in Kansas City with a win tonight against OSU. With a loss, BYU play in the 8.30 p.m. Central Time game next Wednesday. We do, do no open. BYU will open Wednesday as either the 5 or the 6 seed at the conference tournament. BYU basketball brought to you in part by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen helping Utah families for over 30 years. Learn more at SiegfriedandJensen.com. Greg Group Bell, Mark Durant with you for play-by-play and commentary. And we've got BYU coming out of a timeout with Noah Waterman going to the free throw line. Noah's looking for points four and five. He scored his first three on an early three. BYU only two for ten from deep. Oklahoma State, two for ten from deep. Well, BYU is playing good defense. They're getting out on the shooters maybe a little bit of a lapse early but have rectified that they're getting off the three-point shooters they're doing a good job in rotation on the dribble penetration and they're getting stops but now BYU is just not putting that killer shot or two down they need to hit some of these threes that could really open up the game no free throws they say no it wasn't going up yet and he got fouled on the floor got fouled hard before the break so it's BYU out of bounds five to one Oklahoma State, five fouls to BYU's one, so we expect the next whistle to be against BYU because of the disparity. Left wing, Richie Saunders. Saunders to the top. Saunders down the lane unless he forces the action. But he kicks out to Khalifa for three. Yes, Ali for three. His second three. He's two for four from deep. And the Cougs have a game-high seven-point lead, 21-14. to 14. BYU's third Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer of the night. He had to shoot that because the clock was running out. Big shot. Keon Williams, 16-footer off the iron. Rebound Jackson Robinson. Jackson down the barrel. BYU right to left as we see it and you hear it. Jackson on the Marriott Center logo right side. Left wing hall, top side Khalifa. Khalifa bounces left, hands out to Waterman. Waterman hooks a pass to Richie. No, it's long from the arc left side. Out of bounds, last touch by BYU. So it'll be Oklahoma State basketball. BYU three for 13 from deep. I do believe that was a three from Richie left side. We'll see what they call on that. Yep, it was a three. Make it three for 12, not three for 13. And Either way, BYU's lead stays at 7. It's the game-high cushion 21-14. to BYU had 21-8 to runs since Oklahoma State opened up 6-0. Keller at the left elbow straight away to the Eric Daly Jr. He'll cuff it, gather, squeeze it up, draw a foul, get fouled, and shoot two. As he missed a shot, he'll go to the free-throw line. The foul to Waterman. And the second foul against BYU, as noted. At a 5-1 disparity, the next whistle likely to be against BYU, and it was. Of course, this was a foul you had to call as Noah caught Daly in the act, and he'll go to the free-throw line for two. 60% free throw shooter is all. At 52 for 87. Shoots a lot of them. And misses there. That's 52 for 88. Now under 60% on the year. He stays at two points. Out of Palmetto, Florida. Eric Daly Jr., 6'8", 230, a freshman. Two points in 18 minutes against BYU in Stillwater. And has two points early in this one against BYU. BYU's starting... Uh, one, two, and three as the second free throw is good. Have not scored in this game. Hall, Nell, hmm. and uh, Spencer Johnson. they got to get going here a little bit. Six-point BYU lead, 21-15. to 15. Dallin Hall, slow dribble right side. High to Khalifa, open for three. Feeling it? Nope. Long on it. And the rebound to Eric Daly Jr. BYU three for 13 from three. A driving kick by Williams on the right side to right. Right at 10 feet. We'll push it from there and miss it. The slap rebound falls to right and a reset for the Cowboys. Driving his daily. He gets right to the rim. Hangs back and hits. He's got five. And the lead down to four. 21 to 17. Second chance points. Waterman three. Good from the right corner. What an answer. A quick fire from Noah. His second three. And BYU's back to a seven-point lead. 24 to 17. Fourth three of the first half for BYU. Again, no team this year has made more than 10 threes against Oklahoma State. Daly, fadeaway, off the iron, tough luck, rebound Khalifa. That looked good. Ali with his second rebound, down floor Robinson, trailer Hall. Hall starts to the bump. Hall, thinking about a pocket pass, will pass it instead short to Khalifa, mid-alley. He goes back to Nell, Nell, little turnaround right in front of the rim, and he scores it. 
Nice little shot from Trevin Nell as BYU goes up nine for the first time. 26 to 17. Trevin has his first two and into four court. A timeout, Oklahoma State will stay right here with it. 446 to play until halftime. Second timeout taken by the Cowboys here in half number one. The assist to Ali Khalifa on the little Trevin Nell jumper. Little six footer at the front. So for Ali, that's six points, two rebounds, and his first helper of the night. Now only at BYU will your big man give up a post move to give it to a guard who then has a great post move and scores at Trevin Nell. Ali's always looking to distribute. I would like to see him when he gets it to that five or ten foot space to to shoot it because I think he's a good he has good touch in the paint. But I guess you can't argue with when he's such a good passer. Put it get, gave it to Nell on a nice spot. BYU Athletics would like to recognize Prashay Bridal for being tonight's game sponsor and thank them for being an important part of our team. Prashay Bridal, the official bridal shop of BYU Athletics. BYU 26, Oklahoma State 17. Game high, nine-point cushion for the Cougs. BYU shooting 42% now. The Cowboys under 30%. And it's interesting, the BYU game in Stillwater started a run of three straight games of 56% or better from the field for the Cowboys. They really got rolling. But the last three games coming into this one, they've been at 41% or under and kind of... uh, trailing and fading to the finish and not a great shooting start for the Cowboys here in this one. Two for ten from deep, seven for 24 overall. Hicklin sends in Garrison in the forecourt right in front of us. Oklahoma State left to right from our vantage point and we're just to the adjacent to the BYU bench. Keon Williams up high to Small. Small with the taller Waterman on him. Small step back will pass left to Hicklin. Hicklin Elbow left, Garrison. Down the lane to the cutter, Keller. Scores the lay-in. Keller's first two after scoring 22 against BYU in his first start as a Cowboy. In that 10-point win over the Cougars in Stillwater. We're down to a 7-point lead, 26-19. 4-13 to play till halftime. Dallin Hall finds Foose beneath the basket. Pushed out to the left block. Now squares to face on Garrison. Takes a middle. Banks and scores with a right hand. Falling to the ground over the taller Garrison. A shot from Foose, and the fans let him hear it here at the Marriott Center. 28-19, Cougs by nine. They've not led by double digits yet in this game. Keller up top. Angle left straight away. Hall between the rings. Hall, head shaking on Hall. Uh, rather small on Hall. Head shakes him to the paint and hands out to Keller. Keller back to the rim again, lays it up and in. Back-to-back makes at the hoop for Jamiron Keller. 28-21, seven-point game again. Foose has got to help a little bit more. He doesn't have to really guard Garrison on the wing. Help on the shot. Foose holds out to Nell. Nell an off-balance three and missed wildly left, right. And that's 0 for 2 for Trevin from deep. Cowboys break it the other way. Good defense in the block, though, as Robinson knocked it away from Hicklin is then called for a foul on Hicklin. So he three fouls for BYU to just uh, to five for OSU. The last two whistles have gone against the Cougars. We'll take a break. 28-21 Cougars, Oklahoma State basketball with 3.21 to play in the first half after this on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's get you back to the all-pro capital courtside seats and rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. BYU basketball brought to you by Phil Moore Spencer, Utah's trusted top-rated local law firm. They can play offense, defense, or provide a little coaching. Phil Moore Spencer, attorneys at law, solving problems and seizing opportunities for you, your family, and your business. BYU nursing a seven-point lead, trailing six early, leading seven now. BYU's large lead's been nine. The score is 28-21 to 21 as we come back, and it will be Oklahoma State basketball. So BYU's not won a game this year. 0 and 7 when they shoot under 32% from 3. BYU at the moment is shooting 26.7% from 3. So we look for that number to pick up and be more traditional for BYU by the end of the night. BYU shooting 35% on its threes for the year. When they shoot 32% or better, they are 21 and 2. And again, 0 and 7 under that number. Jackson Robinson still looking for his first three of the night. He's on a string of 17 consecutive games with a three. He's the only Cougar with a three in every game in Big 12 play, but nothing yet for him tonight. But he is already at double figures. Jackson sitting at 10. And of his 23 double figure scoring games as a Cougar, 19 have come off the bench. And he came off the bench here tonight and is in the running for sixth man of the year in the Big 12. Now he's been terrific, terrific tonight. He's not on the floor right now, but when you talk about three-point percentages, what, it's five, five or ten percent differences, two or three three-pointers, and 
instead of a seven point lead you have a 13 maybe 16 point lead it makes a big difference those few percentage points BYU by seven Cowboy basketball and we got an offensive foul as dribbling away from play was Keller and Hicklin ends up bodying away from the ball so that's six fouls to, for OSU to three for BYU, so the Cougs will be in the single bonus. We've got 3.14 to play in half number one. We'll see if the Cougs get there before the break. Dallin Hall starts into forecourt. BYU right to left in half number one. Spencer Johnson hands off to Trevin Nell. Nell will take it to the right elbow, take it to the right block, take a hit as he scooped it up, no good. And the rebound, Oklahoma State. And breaking away is Keon Williams, scoop at the window and score. A lot, of, a lot of scores right at the rim on lay-ins for Oklahoma State here in the first half. Williams has four. And that was a wild shot from Nell the other way to begin that transition opportunity. Lead down to five. Nell at the free-throw line will hand left to Dallin Hall. Hall on the game is scoreless. Defus beneath the basket, blocked by Garrison. Another goal 10. So two goal 10s on Oklahoma State. Two buckets good for BYU and 30-23 to 23 BYU by seven. That will give Foos six points off the bench here in half number one. But the Cowboys made their last three from the field. BYU not able to really push it any kind of lead against the Cowboys here in the first half. It's a good quick shot against Garrison. You've got to get it off quickly or he'll block it. See if BYU can get a stop here in this little mini offensive run for Oklahoma State. Good contest and foul, though, as Saunders and Traore go up to contest the lane attempt. The foul's called on Richie. It'll be two free throws. So the Cowboys can make it another scoring possession. They've just been scoring consistently keeping this thing a ball game 220 to go and the player at the free throw line is going to be Javon Small Small three points on a three to begin the game he's an 86% free throw shooter so all but automatic from the stripe double figure scoring in eight of his last nine games coming in two tonight he's the leading scorer for the Cowboys at 14.3 the free throw is good he's the only Oklahoma State player Averaging double-figure scoring at 14 points a game. Makes the free throw. He's got four here in the first half. Back to a six-point game, 30-24. to 24. Trevin Nell's going to have a seat on one for five shooting, including 0 for 2 from three. And Dallin Hall needs to get going as well. He does have three assists. His second free throw is good, but, he, you know, he, he might have been criticized a little bit for be, you know, forcing it too much at the end of that Iowa State game. Now he's dialing back way too much. He needs to be aggressive, try to get downhill and get some things at the basket. 2.15 to go. Back to a five-point game. 30-25. to 25. BYU runs it weaving out front. Left side, Dallin Hall. Dallin. Short roll to Foose. Foose beneath the basket. Kicks in the corner. Jackson, big three. No, he missed it. Rebound Foose and knocked out of his hands. He lost it. He tucks last. It'll stay Oklahoma State basketball. BYU now four for 16 from deep. Another tough three-point number for BYU, at least in the first half. But they had a great first, uh, a great first half number against Iowa State, and struggled after halftime. Maybe it'll flip the other way tonight. Thirty to twenty-five, BYU unable to put a lot of distance between itself and Oklahoma State here in the first half. Keller, high Garrison, Garrison thirty feet away, straight away holds it out for John Michael Wright, who comes to receive between the circles. Runs the roll with Garrison. Garrison now posts up left side. They stay outside with a seven-second shot clock. John Michael Wright driving past Johnson. Scoops and misses at the rim. Spencer on the carom. BYU's got numbers. Five on four the other way. Johnson up top. Transition three. Dallin Hall. Nope. Offensive rebound. Foose. Foose. Will he go back up with it? Bounces once. Waits. Waits. Gets Garrison in the air. And missed the soft jump hook. The tip is also missed by Hall. And Oklahoma State the other way. Yeah, he should have hit Hall on the break. But uh, he shot it. Missed it. Hall still had a chance. Couldn't tip it in. Hicklin on the wing right. Garrison takes the post feed mid-alley right. Square to face and knocks down the jumper over Fuseni Traore. Garrison's got four. The lead is three. 30 to 27, and Oklahoma State can't be stopped right now. They're making everything. Should have had an easy bucket last time down. It goes the other way. OSU gets a bucket. Now they're right where they want to be. BYU should go two for uh, two for one here. 50 seconds to go in the first half. A 20 second shot clock. Dallin Hall runs it right. Skip pass right corner, Richie Saunders down to a 10-second shot clock. Stops at 8 feet, little bobble, scoops and scores and the foul! What a big make by Richie. He looked to be out of options. His last chance was to chuck it up, and he scores it with the foul. Maybe that's a big shot for BYU before the break here. It's foul number 7 on Oklahoma State. Expands the lead to 5, 32-27, so BYU should lead at the break. That's all but assured now with a 5-point lead, and Richie going to the line for a 6-point cushion for BYU. Richie Saunders with his first two off the bench. Been playing really well off the bench of late. And gets into the score sheet late in the first half. 
That was a heck of a shot. Left-handed, too. And he was in the corner, missed Foose wide open under the hoop. And then he put it on the floor and, and made up for it by getting to the rim and scoring and a chance for three-point play. We'll call that a Zions Bank shot of the game. Tonight's shot of the game brought to you by Zions Bank. For 150 years of helping you succeed, Zions Bank is for you. Misses the free throw. And the lead stays 532 to 27. He fouled, but that still won't be bonus for OSU. Foul number four on BYU. Oklahoma State not to get to the bonus. Will not get to the bonus in the first half. Saunders out on the missed free throw. Waterman in. So 38 seconds to play and a 30-second shot clock. So BYU should get the final shot of the first half. We'll lead at halftime. You'd think. It would be tough to give up a lead here with five points. The cushion, 38 seconds to go. BYU's lead never got larger than nine here in the first half. And there were chances to push it to double figures. The Cowboys did a nice job hanging around. My Jamiron Keller. Starts it up high to Keon Williams. Williams down the lane on Waterman. Kicks up high to Daly. Daly, ex- oh my gosh, elevates and hammers with the dunk. Wow. That was awesome. 32-29. BYU's lead down to three. BYU plays for the final shot. you got to make sure you don't give OSU anything late here. You should end the half with the basketball. Ten seconds to play. 32-29. I didn't, th- I didn't think Daly would get there. He got there and how. Down to six and down to five. Hall right wing. Waterman three with three seconds to play. Missed it. Slap out to Jackson for three at the half. Missed it. And BYU's lead will be three. Another three-point miss for BYU. Four for 18 from deep in the first half. And that's not been a number BYU wins with this year. We'll see if the Cougs can flip the script after halftime. A 21% three-point half for BYU. Yet, the Cougars lead 32-29 at the break. Halftime recap coming up next here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.